Hey, what's up guys? I'm Danny, your friendly neighborhood colorist. And in this video, I want to show you how I achieve a smoother contrast, which is usually seen in Hollywood films. Like the blacks are not too black. It has a bit of faded to it, but you can still see the details. And the whites are also kind of pushed down, but it doesn't look very unnatural. It still looks natural, just that it's not the whitest of white because we don't want the whole video to look too bright. We want it to look cinematic like it was shot on film so in this video i will show you my technique of how to achieve that kind of look so let's go so what we want to achieve is essentially this so let me turn off my curves and you can see that the image is more contrasty and once i turn on the curves it goes a bit more faded and it's not the kind of faded that it's right in your face but it's smoother it's nicer feel to it and I can even call it cinematic if that's the term you want to use. So let me turn it off and on again. That's the result that we are trying to achieve. So to achieve this smoother curves, let's turn it off and I'll show you in this note. Ignore the rest of the notes. Today we are just focused on the curved note. And I want to go to my curves and then go into drop down menu and turn on editable splines. So once that's turned on, when you click on the point, you see there's a spline that comes up. So this is how I pull up and down the contrast. By using this editable spline, you can get a nicer roll off in the curves like I will show you later. So what we are trying to achieve today is essentially bringing down the highlights, which you see is a bit clip over here. Bring it down to around here. And I have my custom levels set right over here in the settings. And my low, I've set it to 45, which is over here. And my high, I set it to 960. So we want to pull it down between this range to make it not too contrasty. Okay, so now that we have our parameters set, so it's pretty straightforward just to show you how it's done. So what I usually like to do on the highlights is to pull it down right until it touches the line. See, it touches there nicely. So it's a bit dark right now. So how we can actually lift up the image is by using the spline and pulling it up. And you see that it goes higher than it's expected. We can pull it down further and then brighten it. You can also pull the spline out to brighten or pull it back to minimize the section that you want to brighten. So I'll just go here and just fine tune it to somewhere over there. So let's see before and after. Before, see there's more contrast in the face, but after, then there's a flatter tone to the highlights. So I'm pretty satisfied, although it's not like directly below the line, but clipping a bit is okay because it's, you must see the situation. This is like direct light into the camera, so it can just clip a little bit. It's not actually clipping, uh, but you can just get it over a line. It's not clipping over the high point. So let's do the same for the shadows. Let's just lift it up, 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 up. And then using the spline, we pull it down. And you can see that it's not touching the bottom anymore. And you can fine tune it to somewhere you feel it's comfortable. Yeah. And by doing this, you can see that the black levels are not touching zero, but you can still have a very nice faded black. And it's quite smooth from the mid-tone to the shadows because you have a smooth curve over here. So one thing that you might have to take note is that by dropping down your levels like this, your video might drop a bit in saturation. But if that's the case, then you can just add back saturation in. And another thing is also that not to go too far. If you see if I go too far with this, then it brightens up but it leaves a very ugly image so just find the right amount of pulling it back and brightening it up again with the spline and don't go too far with the shadows either if you go too far and pull it back then it might be a look that you want to go with it's super faded but it's, it's still smooth but that's not preferable because i just want to add a bit of the softening in the shadows so i don't really want to go too far with it but feel free to go crazy with it. This is just a technique that you can achieve a smoother contrast. So I'm pretty satisfied with that. Let's have a look before and after. Yes, it's turning out pretty smooth. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, let's see what it looks like before. Let's compare it to my earlier version. 
So the earlier version I did was uh, a bit brighter, but that's okay. That's okay. Let's just go. So essentially, I just want to show you how to use the curves like this to create a smoother contrast in your picture. So if it's a bit darker, then I can just lift it up with the spline. And there you go. And then that's how you get smoother contrast with the curves. Alright guys, so that's it for this video and I hope you learned something new in this video. If you did, drop me a like and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!